What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Greedy Gamer Podcast. Uh, we got some breaking news for y'all, man. E3 is confirmed, canceled this year. So we're going to get into that. And uh, Warzone came out yesterday for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So we're going to get into that, too, get our impressions on it. So uh, cue the music. You are now tuned to the Gritty Gamer Podcast. Uh, as always, with Vance, my uh, good friend and co-host. I was say, damn, we got being good friends and co-hosts no more. Just, just a nigga named Vance. You know, it's, 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 a new, it's, it's a new way to do it. I was just, like, that's messed up, dude. I, I was going to start, I, I was going to throw your, uh, your nicknames into it, too, but I don't know. My nick, that's my nicknames. You know Wait, my nicknames? So you, so you mad, Van Man? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I ain't know about Van Man. <laughs> Hey, you got Van Man show. You got Van Man on your uh on your Xbox uh for your for your Gmail account or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how I was switched over to Van Man. I guess you finally put me as a trusted friend or some shit. I can see everything. Oh, no, I don't know. How you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, how you, how you doing, though, man? Like, what's going on? Shit, I'm all right, man. Just freaking coping with this St. Louis weather, man. Just killing me. Yeah, it's back and forth. It back was cold forth. today, like this morning. Then it got hot. I'm so freaking tired of this shit. It rained all yesterday. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man, it's weather crazy. It's like it's like this. It's like how we start the podcast off every time. That's like the weather just so fucked up. It's just, just somebody say, "Lord, just oh my god, just kill me." Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, but I've been cool because I've been in the house all day. It's my day off, and I just been wanting to play Warzone the entire time, man. Yeah, like, it's been it's been a while, man. Since I since I found a good game, a good battle royale, that made me just sit, sit back and play it all day. I don't know, you know, no lie. We are going we going play it for. Don't, a week, don't try man. to clutch this. Is is <laughs> your ass, man? Saying, don't try bro. to clutch it me into your shit. You, you <laughs> we gonna, we gonna game. play it for a week, and then it's gonna, we nah, gonna get, we gonna fizz all of it. I'm gonna tell you exactly about it. Like, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna be playing it for a couple more days. You gonna end up saying, you know what? I want to go back and play Skyrim. Hey, yo, yo I mean, gonna, I'm already playing Skyrim. So close, man. Well, if you go find some other game to play, and you go not hop on PlayStation, no, I'm not going to see your ass. It's going to say, so you mad, been offline for 10 days or some shit. And I mean, I'm still playing myself. Watch. You know that update for, what's the name of the shit? I think it'll probably come out later this month. Never mind. What, Borderlands? Borderlands 3, the second update. But I think that's like 28th of this month, so never mind. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll take like, some time to play it. I still been playing like oh we talk about Ori too. I can probably get my impressions on that because I play a little bit of it. I'm probably you know let's save for another episode because I can probably give a full full take on it. But I'm liking it so far. But all right, uh, let's get back to Warzone. I guess man, how you liking it? It's cool. I got a little bit of gripes about it, but overall it's decent. It's fun. I'm I'm, I'm surprised, man. What what gripes do you have? Uh, they need to fix the party system for one, like. If it's gonna be like two v twos, the three v three, the one person by itself. I mean, I'm tired of running this random number of people. <laughs> I got not know if it's a group of three or a group of two or just one dude. I, don't I just need to specify when I get into the game. All right, it's two v twos, it's doubles, it's all it is. It's singles or it's teams. I just need to know. And I don't like the um, what was it? I don't. Like, what was it? You reach it now, man. I no, it was, I literally had it on my on my mind and it literally just went away. All right, well let me tell right, you if you figure it out, I don't have any complaints about it, honestly. Like I, I guess the but the party system is a valid complaint, man. Like they should have a certain section for duos and squads and all shit is like Fortnite and shit got. But other than that, man, like it's I think they kind of Infinity War and, and perfected the formula when it comes down to the battery oh. system, man. The, the 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 lobby system where it's like we every other lobby we get stuck because they ain't finding everybody or something it's like we get stuck at like 120 people and then it never goes up and then yeah they happen every once in a while room. Yeah. I just think they maybe should, I think maybe they should decrease the player count from 150 to like you know 100 I feel like 100 is a good number or like 120 120 seems to be the sweet spot why 150 I'm just saying something yeah but um. I think that Infinity War kind of perfected it, man, with how they did it. I think 150 is good, actually, because it's the map is so fucking big and the, the safe zone is so big. I just think they just need to work out a, a few bugs about it, but I don't see, like, for real, I don't really have too many complaints about it because I, for, for one, 
one thing that they did, it's like they really paid attention to the genre, to the battle royale genre, and then like mm-hmm. like fix a lot of the things that I, I would complain about, like starting off with nothing and trying to find a gun. Like yeah, you, you like actually that. parachute down, you got a pistol in your hand, what you automatically start with two armor plates, yeah. and you got a fighting chance. You know what I mean? So if you skilled enough, even if you run across somebody with a, they picked up a gun first, you still got a chance. Um, I like that you can. You start bring up armor people. too. I like yeah, that. Two place of armor. I like that you can um actually bring up people back the same way that you can in Apex and Fortnite now. But you can bring yourself back with the Gulag. Do you like that? Not not the Gulag, yeah. but do you like the purchasing like the second win and all that stuff? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Like I mean, purchasing, like we know. All know. right, whoever played it needs to know. Like all right, you can purchase a second win. So make when I take somebody out, I gotta make sure I finish them off. You know what I mean? Like it's not like. It's not like a uh, unfair advantage on flight because we all know that everybody has to access to that same perk if you got enough money for it. So if you take somebody out, finish them, finish them off. I mean, that's how, that's how I look it, at it. Would it really change anything if they just didn't have it? <laughs> yeah, it changed. It changed a lot. I mean, that saved us a lot of times, man. You know, what I mean, like you couldn't. It's been a couple times you couldn't get to me, or I couldn't get to you, and I was holding everybody down, like trying to, you know, the, uh, distract them while you picked yourself up. You know, what I mean, so I think. I think that I think it's a nice addition. I don't think it's like OP or anything. I don't know how many you can buy. That's one thing. Um, you know, I did have one gripe about it, man. Like when I was in the gas, uh, in the gas, and you got a gas mask that you, that you can put on. I don't know if I was playing with you or Noah. Noah had went down right inside the gas area, and the person who was about, who took him down, like he it was he was around the line, around the border. Border. It was closing in on him. The person that shot him down. Or was the, he? He wasn't even down yet. The person that was shooting at him was right in my line of fire, and I was in the gas. So my guy, you don't put the gas on your, your the mask on yourself. Your person does it on his own. You know what I mean? So I was in the uh, smoke, and he kept on like going back and forth from taking it off and on, over and over again. So I, I was unable to shoot. So it's one thing that kind of messed me up. Like I wish they like let you hold triangle or something like that to put the mask on yourself. But other than that, man, like. The game is good, man. They got ways to uh, traverse the terrain with so many different vehicles. You got uh, you got ways to take out the vehicles if you, if you feel like you know what I mean. You don't want to deal with that because I yeah. took out a couple uh, trucks and shit with RPG with no issues. Um, it's you don't have any gripes? <clears throat> Nothing. Yeah, no. I mean the, the gas mask, like you said, the, the the party system is a valid one. But other than that, man, I feel like it's it's a good game. Man. I don't feel like it's nothing yeah. is overpowered. All the weapons are simple, straightforward. You can get your loadouts if you find a loadout package. Yeah. Like, um, uh, all right, we, we we coming from a place where we feel like everybody. Let's just like bare bones. If you haven't yeah, played, kind of feel like bare bones. Yeah, bare bones battle royale. Yeah. At least but now, until they add some BS to it later. But yeah. let me try to like explain it for those who haven't played it at all. You know what I mean? Who still on the fence about it? Um, you drop you drop into the game in, in regular fashion in, in the airplane with your squad. Am I, am I, do I sound glitchy? You sound like a robot for a second, but you, you right, it sound good now. All right, I see my shit go down. All right, you start off as in regular fashion, um, a helicopter with your squad, you jump out, choose a spot, map is big as hell. You got the guys to come in that, that just like the typical, it got those typical things that the battle royale got. Instead of coming out empty handed, you get you start off with a pistol and two armor plates. Are you doing you like Birdman box. hands? God damn me. Oh, yeah, so I'm doing my hands. I heard your hands. I was like, what is yeah. I just put lotion on. So much shit dry as hell. <laughs> you heard rubbing hands get like, yeah. <laughs> All I heard is scraping together. Like, what is that noise? See, man, I got to get used to the way I got to. I'm sitting now, man. I move my stuff around. So the mic, man. I got to kind of lean in. Just put some so, that lotion on. Shit. I got lotion on my shit. Man. <laughs> I got calluses, man. Shit. I'm like, what is that scraping noise? My bad. I just had to acknowledge. <laughs> You good, you good. I, I ain't want to keep doing shit. I, I am close as hell to the mic. But, um, you know how Apex, like, this game has no attachments to pick up at all. You notice that? No attachments to play your guns. Mm-hmm. All the guns come pre, like, pre-packaged with all the attachments you need. Like, and they always, they, they start off with common, uncommon, rare, and it's just like the same tiers. But you got to find them inside boxes. You know what I mean? You can find the yeah. common guns sitting around, but you got to find most of the good stuff in boxes. Or uh, the loadout system, which I think you kind of like, don't you? Yeah, I like the loadout system. You can like basically use your your multiplayer loadouts from like the regular uh, multiplayer mode and use it in battle royale mode. If you get to the loadout boxes, and I think that's dope. I like. Yeah, that. and the loadout boxes kind of get dropped down like a crap package, so you got to go find it. And you pretty 
I mean, we we got we were pretty safe every time we go grab one. Like it wasn't never something to where you know it was big, like watching yeah. over it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't never, nothing like that. So it, uh, it's fast too. Like it in and out. Like get in there, get the yeah, bug, you out. And, you know, exactly. you don't like, don't waste no time. It ain't load nothing. The same with bringing in your teammate back is you go in there, click the name, and it's over. You ain't gotta sit there and wide and watch it load yeah, up like exactly. the apex and stuff. It's just in and out, very quick moves. So it's it's and, and you ain't had to wait because the apex too. It, just, it does the whole animation where the ship flying in, and then you gotta wait and jump out. Like on this one, you just spot in the air. Your team just spot in the air. Exactly right above down. it. It's just simple, easy, quick. And I, I just in and out, bro. You ain't got to worry about all the extra shit. So. See, this, this is why I like to complain <clears throat> compare it to. I like to say uh, this is like the perfect match between PUBG and Apex Legends, like put together. You know what I mean? Because with I, I feel like with the realism of PUBG mixed with the simplic, simplicity of uh, Apex Legends. So I feel like that's like, that's what that that's what that really is. You still got your vehicles, you still got your weapon attachments, you still got your lead through non lead through. No powers. I mean, you got your little, your little special perks, but I mean, it's that stuff like dead silence and you know recon drones and shit like that. It's never anything yeah. that that really bump it up past realistic. You know, you what, know I mean? what makes it better too? What is there's no uh, shield tiers. Everybody got the same yeah, exactly. shield. Exactly. There's, no, there's not no like legendary shields or armor. I mean, or rare armor. It's all everybody got the same level armor. So exactly. you, you feel like you. You can do you doing the amount of damage that you you, you taking, so it don't feel like you gotta. See, this person got an exotic armor, so now he's taking way more shots exactly, than you are. Exactly. With it. Everybody on even playing field, even playing field. And I like that. Yeah, I like that. So I mean, that's that's really what it boils down to the simplicity, simplicity, man. Like this entire game, just keep it simple. You only got to like blackout. I could not get into it, man, because it was so much shit to learn. So many perks to attach. You had way. I think they tried to like adapt it, like PUBG. And put their own Call of Duty spin on it, cause PUBG is confusing as hell too, man. Like I don't know if they switched it, but from when I played it, like I was playing with uh, Sam, who was on our podcast before uh, in, uh, in the beginning, he was trying to show me how to play PUBG, and it was just like it was too much to really get into, man. Like it, I had to figure out what attachments. So I was like, oh no, you don't need that. Drop that. This, that'll go for that gun. Pick this up instead. You know what I mean? It's like shit like that. I don't want to have to do that, man. Like that's why. <laughs> that's why I was so happy with Apex, cause if you picked up a weapon. And you picked up an attachment, it'll drop the attachment you didn't need, and you just automatically know, all right, I got the best thing. This Call of Duty even cut it down to half again and give it even more simplicity by you just, all right, your weapon is your weapon. If you like that weapon more, pick it up. If you don't, fuck it. Just, you, know what I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's how it is. So you ain't got to sit there. You got like 10 inventory slots, and that's it. And you, you, you pick up what you want for your playstyle, and they keep it simple, man. To be fair, I don't think they got much of a gun variety in <clears throat> the Black Ops Black Ops mode. I feel like all we see is scars and shotguns and RPGs. I feel yeah, like for like, really the, for like the common, the ones that's laying around, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as the ones we find in the boxes, like, yeah, you kind of right. We all the guys like in the boxes. We got the FAL, the uh, the semi-automatic sniper, and yeah. uh, it's a couple. I think most like, of the variety come. From them make letting you choose your loadout. I think that's yeah. where the variety comes in. Then. Yeah, but I, I found like you gotta get lucky and find an exotic box too, because I didn't found some some uh, some different guns in there. But for the most part, yeah, you probably want to just make sure you get your loadout together. Make sure, and when you do your loadout now, I don't know if people know this. It says multiplayer and it says war zone for some of the perks, like some of the things. Like it, it's different for the war zone, so you won't have a, a an unfair advantage in war zone. So when you're making a loadout, make like I said, like two or three different loadouts specifically for Warzone, so you can take advantage of, you know, all the perks that you got. Yeah. Another thing that I, that I liked, I don't know if, what the exact name of it is, but they got them little challenges within the game because oh, yeah. uh, they go off a money system. Like every person, I mean, um, when, you, when you pick up when you open boxes, they, they drop out a little wad of cash or whatever. You can use that and just stack up your money. And uh, whenever you kill somebody, they drop money. And the challenges allow you another opportunity to get more money. So it'd be something like uh, recon, like go secure a location, or um, the the ones that I like the most are uh, open up the loot boxes. Like it give you I three like loot boxes. I love those because you always it leads you to more. And then by the time you see the last loot box, it lead it give you a bit a bunch of fucking stuff to get. Like it's three loot boxes, and you get like by the time you see the third one, you get a bunch of shit. So I, I like that one the most. I don't like the security of the location because it takes too long. You feel like a sitting duck. 
And I don't really like having to attack people because they always, they know they're being hunted. So they already on edge and they looking around and shit. So it, it's, it kind of make it a little harder. You probably hunt one. The thing probably take you to hunt one person, but it's, it's going to be a squad. Like mm-hmm. I don't, yeah, so it kind of throw you off. The Rika, the the one where you got picked up loot boxes, man, it's like the simplest one for me. And, and you get a bunch of loot every time. So it just that they put them in like random spots. <clears throat> yeah. Like put one really high, the other one really low. That's like, ah. Uh, yeah. That's the only part that I don't like about it. But it's still, you ain't really fighting against nobody. You're just going against the clock and you got like plenty of time too. So, uh, yeah, Modern Warfare, man, they, they they paid attention. Like, the whole Gulag thing, I think, arguably, Gunfight is one of the best modes of the game. So, when you die on this one, and I don't know what the, the cutoff is. Did you did you figure that out? What? The cutoff to be into the Gulag to come no. back? Hey, man, it's like, because we, we, we survived all the way until it was, like, 20 teams left, I think. And we yeah. died. We thought we thought it was over and we went to the gulag. So I don't know if it's like if it's how many teams left or how many players are left. I don't know what's the thing for that. Yeah, I don't get it. But all right, so say when you die, you get one chance to come back. Each player on your on your squad got one chance to come back. And they, they basically become I love how they did it too, like adding to the realism. You basically getting dragged out, I mean dragged out into um <laughs> a a cell uh, a jail cell. By two uh, guards, and you thrown into a cell, waiting for your opportunity to fight another um, enemy to get out. And the other enemy, of course, is another player in the lobby, and y'all facing each other in a one v one gunfight match. And the, uh, they literally match. got Gulag in the map. Like you literally go there, but it's like an alternate universe Gulag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, bro, like we were here. Like, what the hell? Why are we on <laughs> I fight? think if you go to the Gulag and go outside it on the actual um, Warzone mode. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I think that little area behind it is Modern Warfare 2. Like, I don't know if anybody played Modern Warfare 2 like that, uh, but I'm pretty sure that same map. I, I can call back to a lot of areas in this map as it come back to Modern Warfare 2. And I, I, it kind of bring like a little nostalgia, man. I, I wonder if I'm wrong. They got to fill out the map, so I wouldn't doubt yeah. I said some other games from the previous versions. <clears throat> so I just recognize a lot of that shit, man. But uh, yeah, I love, I love the whole. Everything about it, man. Like I can play yeah. it all day. You still need a good squad though. Like I wish they would do a solo, maybe or um, duos. But other than that, man, like it's just small stuff to me. Like I don't, the entire, I don't, I, like I said, I don't really have too many gripes about it. Yeah, it's all around good. That's why I said leave it up to Infinity Ward, man. For real, leave it up to them. They came back, they paid attention, and they brought you back something good, man. Like I haven't seen any complaints about it. I don't have any, and yeah. It's like little slight bug glitches, and it's still in beta form. If you have, if you load it up and look at the bottom right, it still say beta. But I mean, it's damn near official now with the way it's running. I think Fortnite still say beta too. Oh, <laughs> uh, for real? Uh, Early access? <laughs> yeah, some shit like that. Like, bro, this is not beta anymore. It's literally. Right, man. <laughs> and yeah. what more can y'all do? Shit, y'all in season? I don't say season two. Is it season it's or season two? But yeah. Or season one, or whatever the fuck they did, like the shit they did. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But what was that? What was the topic? You know, hold on, wait, real quick. I'm trying to say, I, do you do you see CNN like as as of right now? CNN has Tom Hanks and his wife, um, as the breaking news because they got coronavirus. They, they tested positive. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Funny, like, no, I'm just saying, like, that's not breaking news. Why is that breaking news, man? I don't get Tom it. Tom Hanks, goddamn me. It's He's a national Tom treasure, Hanks, man. But they, why are you, <laughs> they trying to, like, scare people with that shit, man? Like, it's, they trying to blow it even more out of proportion, man. It's just I don't trying to scare people because Tom Hanks got it. Like, oh, my God, because Tom everybody, Hanks, not the Tom Hanks. Why, why are you talking about, like, why is it, why is it breaking <laughs> news on CNN, man? Like, that's. Uh, oh, that's no, shit, maybe because people that's always think story. celebrities are invincible and shit. Or something. Like, oh, Tom Hanks got it. That means you can get it too. Exactly. You probably scurring. travel way more. Exactly. Than you. Well, you scurring people right there. But uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. But uh, the reason, only reason I'm talking to Corona because E3 got canceled. It's it's in June. Everything man. got canceled. I don't think everything none of this. got canceled. Because <laughs> but they companies... said, go ahead. No, but uh, I'm just saying that they talk, they talking about doing a uh, a video streaming service for E3. So because it's canceled. Which I think is kind of dope. We just said that too, man. So they do our predictions came through. Yeah, <laughs> might as well. I mean, but 
it ain't just E3. It's like a lot of things. It's a lot of companies yeah. out there that saying like, man, look, if y'all can work from home, stay your ass at home. It's I heard there's a company, I think it was like Amazon or something. They was like, man, they tell people to stay at home. And they pay them for that. Like, they close the whole company and they pay them for that. They still pay them for the hours or uh, something that they would have worked or something still. It's like, that's dope shit they doing. I was quick trip the gas station there where people come in and out all day. A lot of people would just close, but they ain't going to do that. They nah, people wait. need that gas. People need that <laughs> they don't gas. need none. The gas is not a necessity. You don't need gas. You know, you really don't need a cashier, but I was just saying E3 because we a gaming podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying this was, Everything get canceled. I'm just saying. Yeah, NBA just, too, man. That shit crazy. You no, know, my shit. place, neck of the wood, canceled. We already, we already know, man. I work in a fucking. Um, I work for Pepsi, so I'm in the grocery store all day. You know, everybody come to the grocery store. They gonna have their little sick ass kids walking around coughing. You know, a lot of kids don't be covering their mouth. I'd be like, dude, get your get your son, man. Just you know, walking around. <laughs> look at that. Look at dead in my face. <laughs> like, dude, get away from I, me, man. I heard some. I was watching somebody podcast, and it was like, uh, some alcohol company was saying that people were using their alcohol and mixing mm-hmm. it with like oils and berries. Yeah, and yeah. To the I, the seen that same. I seen that same <laughs> I was thing. like, what? They were like, no, what the fuck? You need like 60% alcohol. We only do, we only got 40. It's not work. It's not how it works. I just seen <laughs> I this shit. Man. It's crazy. It was funny. <laughs> like, people out here crazy. You see some, it was like in uh, Detroit or something where people was putting trash bags on their head. They were spraying their kids down with disinfectant spray for school. <laughs> Was losing their minds, bro. For real, what man. What is going on? Oh my god! But yeah, this coronavirus. It's, it's. I mean, I don't oh, know if I say word. anything. But don't, don't say. I heard you say the word. They everybody come out you like like cancel you or something. So the 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 the, the, the important c word thing. People cancel you. What you talking about? People cancel. Oh, no. I heard when you, when you put it on YouTube. You say coronavirus. They demonetize you because it's like you promoting it. So. <laughs> That's what I saw her. So everybody That's on YouTube crazy. try to avoid putting in the titles and saying it. So they're like, don't say it because they get the But uh I mean I, I like how the community coming together with some of the things, man. Like how Discord, you see that? Like I just I don't know if I uh, if you popped down to it, they up Oh, the, that's what that uh, was? It was something yeah. like they were talking about how like, they made the big groups from I think fifty to hundred or something like that. So you now have classrooms and you can do creative stuff to be home and not have to go out you just make a big conference call with up to 100 people on discord so i mean it's that's cool stuff like that i wish my job would pay me i don't want to see i want to enjoy my vacation it's coming up on sunday i want to go out <laughs> enjoy myself i don't, I don't want to be around a bunch of people now man speaking like, of going like, out bro <laughs> I heard there was a strip club giving out free masks and hand sanitizers to customers that's coming oh, to the club. Oh, hell no, no, hell no. <laughs> this ain't worth it, man. It's, it's, not the worst place. it's not the worst place you could go, man. Like, for real. <laughs> One of the worst. Hey, this shit. Nah. And the masks don't even do nothing. You need a special mask. It's affecting my, my everything, aunt, bro. My aunt said she uh she got she working at like a nursing home or something. They got one mask that, that blocked the coronavirus. It's like a special mask with like a respirator or some shit to it. And they can't, nobody can use it. Only only time they can use it is if somebody actually come in and claim they got the coronavirus and they give them the mask and, and do treatments on them, basically. Bro, I, I'm, I'm thinking, you said nursery home, like, man, old people die every day, bro. Like, it's a lot of old people die from, like, the cold and common cold and all that stuff. It's, like, thousands, bro. So I go to imagine what the coronavirus is. It's probably even doing as bad as everybody think or something. <laughs> like you know, people over they probably over hyping it right now because it's the thing. But I think the common cold kills way more people. Are yeah, because more people than the coronavirus is doing right now. So I think it's just one of the things to where it's just spread at such alarming and alarming rate that everybody's so fr- afraid about it. And then the media, like like you said, I mean, like I said, scaring people with showing up because like like you said, more people die from common cold, the flu. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And just like, it's always something, man. Bird flu, swine flu, all this shit was coming around. Ebola. It's always something. Every few years, something mm-hmm. pop up to where everybody go fucking crazy. And it's this is the coronavirus is the newest thing. So, I mean, it's, it's going to pass like everything else. We're going to find the cure for it. And um, what's fucking weird, though? I don't know if I said anything about this last time. That lady predicted the coronavirus or some shit like that. I forgot her name. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. She had a book in 2002. Let me read it real quick, even though I'm technically promoting the coronavirus right now. 
and, and talking about how how fucking devastated it is. But um, yeah, this lady. It was a book that was written. I think in two thousand, maybe. She what's her name, man? Sylvia Brown. And so she was supposed to be like a a psychic, or whatever. She was on like Montel show, but she was like in around twenty twenty. In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness was spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs, the, bronchi- the bronchial tubes, and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself would be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it, as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. And it's this book called The End of Days. So, yeah, you, do, you take that into context. How you want to, even though we kind of took this podcast with all the world. <laughs> whole nother uh, tangent, man. But the whole point is, drive back, I guess, E3 is canceled because of the coronavirus. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. What else you think? Because GDC, is that, is people still dropping off from there, Andy, are they? Or is that still going on? Is that still going no, on? I'm pretty sure they're going to cancel it, man. I don't know for sure, but let me see. I don't know, because I feel like everybody at well, like the Xbox still going to that. So it's it's hard to say, but yeah, everything is literally being canceled. So it's like, <sighs> yeah, it say it said it was reported. <clears throat> e three and GDC cancellations are forcing the game industry to to think like Nintendo. Yeah, e, e, GDC was canceled a long time ago. What the hell is Nintendo? What's Not Nintendo a long time ago, but like ten days ago. Let me see. This is an article called The Verge. Streams are the best option for many companies as coronavirus takes its toll. I mean, it, like I said, we said we talked about this last podcast, man. Like, that's the best way to do it because, I mean, you that's the way for you to get your games out there and everybody can participate in it. You know what I mean? Nobody got to travel. Like we said, the only thing you're going to sacrifice is networking, but, I mean, you everybody, you, we'll live. <laughs> we'll live. <laughs> get you somebody email or Twitter or something and go from there. But, um... Yeah, man, I think that's the best way to do it now. Now everybody can go to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's exciting shit. I mean, I'm but what about everybody, everybody like, wants the swag bags? Goddamn I me! Mean, what about all the, the swag, swag bags? Give, give, give me a virtual swag bag, and like some the digital currency or something. Girls that you can see the the, the thickness and the, the prettiness. They wearing the skimpy yeah. outfits like your favorite character. You don't want to see that. I mean, I, I would like to see that, but it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not gonna happen. So, I mean, I wouldn't be going to eat three nowhere. And E3 is already, every time I hear anybody talk about E3, they talk about how sick they get. You know what I'm saying? Every time, so. I don't hey, know, bro. But, um, what games we got coming out this month? You got some brighter news. What games are coming out this month? What games? Yeah. Uh, I told myself I was going to be writing this shit down so I ain't got to listen to it all the way through and figure out when we talk about certain topics, man. Oh, I'm getting tired of this shit. What? You gotta remind me next time, man. Sit, try to help me out. Remind me to have a notepad ready and my stopwatch going so I can know <laughs> when we talk about certain topics, man. <laughs> yeah. But uh, games is coming out this month, man. Ori in the, in the Blind Forest or Ori in the Will of the Wisps came out. That's what you're so, playing right now or the first one? I'm playing the, uh, the second one. I skipped the first uh, one. I played a little bit of it, but, you know, I just said forget it. I, I seen a little notification pop up because it's on Game Pass. <clears throat> And just decided to get into it, and I like it, man. I mean, I'm just give a little brief brief overview. Um, what I like about it, the music is 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 good so far. It got like a little uh, um shovel, not shovel night, hollow night vibe to it. You know what I mean with that with with the way they fight, the the combat style, and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And you got customization to the point of your abilities, not. You know, it's not a customization. From right now, no appearance or anything like that, but you can customize the way, you know, your per your person with the abilities you got. Cause they got you can equip up to three like passive abilities and it's a whole bunch of slots for them right now. You know what I mean? I got three right now. I got one of let Ori climb up walls. I mean stick to walls. I got one and you know, you can like absorb the orbs from a distance and another one. So take ten percent less damage. And it's like twenty different Passive abilities I can find, so I mean, it's just it's a good chill game, man. If anybody looking for a beautiful, well designed, uh, musically rich game, then go try Orient the Will of the Wisp, man. It's it's it is it's on Game Pass for free right now, so is check it? that out. Well, it's on it's, it's on Game Pass. Huh. But they also got um <clears throat> Doom Eternal. You hype for that? Not really. 
Because I ain't played the first one for real. You ain't played play Doom? Ain't that on... Is that no um, Game Pass either? It is, but I, I played the multiplayer, but I ain't really getting to the... So I, I played like 15 minutes of the story. I think I had to go to work or something. I just loaded it up real quick. And I don't know, man. Like You would think that's like the perfect game for me. It's like a first-person Gears of War, right? The way it is, in the way. Man, you know, Gears of War. I would say like more like Halo. More like I Halo? Mean, I feel like. Because you're more jumping than show, shooting. Gears is like cover... Cover like base, yeah, cover base yeah. shit. I was just saying, girls in the way of gore and shit. But yeah, you're right. Uh, we got that. We got uh, Persona Five Special Edition coming out. I still gotta beat the regular Persona Five. <laughs> That's a long ass game. That's fun though, but it's, it's a long ass game. <laughs> you got that. That's, you got <laughs> hey. That's a perfect vacation game. Man. I think I might go ahead and play it on my vacation. You know, dude hey, from IGN. Like, I Go ahead. Dude from IGN straight beat that game twice, once in English and once in Japanese. Platinum did both times. I'm like, dude, why? Like, it's a lot. It's, I know, I know it took a lot of time, man. I know it took a lot of time. Yeah, but you know, some relationships and all that. <laughs> yeah, I know some people like to uh, like watch anime and uh, and in Japanese. It just depends on what it is for me. Are you one of the people like that? Like, you you would rather watch anime in Japanese? Subs, damn right. You for real? Yeah. It just depends, it's, man. It's, like, it's certain anime that I only watch in English. It's like Code Geass and Dragon Ball Z. I will only watch those. Dragon in Ball Z. I watch Dragon game. Ball Z and Sub, though. Sub is oh, not as bad. Man. You get used to it, it's not as bad. Goku voice is trash, man. It's like, it's like a it girl. Is. Oh, like, it is a girl. That's why. <laughs> It is literally like an old lady, a little old lady who voices Goku. I can't do Goku <laughs> voice, man. Um, You'll be used to it, but like I say, Dragon Ball Z and Code Geass. Code Geass to me is one of the best dubs out there. I like that shit. I like um I can watch my hero uh dubbed. Nah, no I can't watch I can't like watch them like that. You don't like it? No, I can't. I can't. I can watch uh Dr. Especially, Stone dubbed. That's I cool. Can't. Especially I can't watch anything I already heard sub. If I heard a sub, I can't do dub. See the good thing about Funimation with My Hero is so it's such a popular show. I think they try to roll out the dub as as soon as possible. Like every time I get on, it's just automatically all new episodes dubbed. Unless I if they upload the episodes, I think, on Saturdays, and if I get on on Saturday to watch it, then it'll be sub. But the next day or a few hours later, it's it's always dubbed. I like I like Deku voice in, uh, in English, man. man. I like I like Bakugo voice in English. A lot of voices just sound it just don't fit. It's like it's like when you watch a say like you watch the Boondocks and you want to listen to it at uh, subs or some Japanese, you know. Dub whatever, and it it wouldn't feel right because it's just it's they American and black, and they when they got Japanese voice, and just, <laughs> I see them all as Asian in my if mind. Had, so if they speak English, I'm like, why are they speak English? <laughs> I just oh, they just me, I guess. No, I feel. You know, I, I mean, a lot of people think the same thing, man. But I don't have no problem with it. I would rather like I'd be sometimes just watching like Naruto. I could definitely easily watch Naruto. Oh yeah, not too cool, though. Like I said, I, I watch more most of his sub because sub was always farther ahead. So it's like, yeah, dude, it's like they like, gave up on it, man. Because like shipping, it's like halfway through the series and shipping, and it just stopped. What's all that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was what was that? You heard that? Yeah. My bad. That was some video playing in the background. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. man, it was. I mean, we kind of went off on a tangent with the coronavirus, but every episode <laughs> we fucking talk about the Trump coronavirus now, man. Every, something getting canceled. It's taking over our life, man. It's like, yeah. it won't go away. It's trying to turn the TV. It's corroded this, corroded that. Like, I don't even want to go to work. Like I said, I'm in grocery stores. And if I, but I have to go. I can't, I can't miss no days of work. It's yeah. the only thing, man. I hate that shit. Every day, I says, I'm, I'm actually, I interact with people. You don't think you really do as much, but so every time I'm like handling money and stuff, I put hand sanitizer on, I wash my hands every time I'm, I mean, it. they say oh, you just make sure you don't touch your your face, your eyes. I interact with people a lot too. I gotta, and you gotta remember, like everybody walking down the damn soda aisle. Like, it'd be it'd be times where like like ten people down the aisle at one time all day, walking past, coughing and shit, juice aisle, by the registers. I don't and think that's nothing. I mean, cause I I feel I got it worse. Cause I you talk about people who go to the bathroom and don't wash their hands. It's the same <laughs> thing in grocery stores. They take a piss, but they they more. Uh, what do you call it? Bold at a gas I'm station sure. at the grocery store. I'm pretty sure it's it's a lot of fucking. Let me tell you about bold, man. 
right. You want to talk about bold? I was in Walmart the other day. I just got done use the bathroom, wash my hands and shit. This old man, he was a worker or some shit. He walked up to me, came out the store, didn't wash his fucking hands. Old man, touched my side. I looked in the dead <laughs> fucking eyes and said, don't put your hands up. We just got the stars wrong with you. So fuck right. I, I just walked out the damn bathroom. Man, I was fucking crazy. He looked at me all <laughs> stupid and shit. Now, he a worker there too, so he always looked at me all worried. I gave him like, like a little look. Dude, like, you should knew better, nigga. Put your fucking hands up. <laughs> and you got right, right. What's wrong with I, you? I, I, it makes me mad too, especially when like people be doing that shit at Quick Trip. And I, I know if they go out there and touch like donuts or like grills, oh, like, I know they finna do that yeah, shit. Exactly. So I get what you're saying with that shit, man. But that's that's like, just gross. be common knowledge, man. I'm tired of seeing people walk out the store. It happens all the time. Walk out the store, don't wash your hands and walk out the bathroom. Like, what? Yeah. What is wrong with you, man? Like, you just that's wipe your I... ass and you go just walk out of here and put that shit everywhere, mm-hmm. man. That's why I always use a napkin, to open the door. Uh, paper towel. I never, I never touch it by hand. The hand dude. <laughs> I mean, as long as you, for real, as, as long as you don't touch your face, your eyes, just keep your hands out your mouth and everything like that. You, <laughs> yeah, you, good. <laughs> you good. Like, for real. Like, for us, I think, for real, the thing that really messes up, you know what I mean, if you walk around somebody who walk, who, who coughing and sneezing with corona, with the coronavirus, then it's a problem. How but if know? nobody around, like if anybody, if anybody walking around coughing and sneezing around, you get the fuck away from. This is just this simple. <laughs> but if you walking around and they they happen to did touch the door or a cart or something, just make sure you wash your hands before you put it in contact with anything that you, you know, what I'm saying that's that can get into your body. Like for real, it's got it's got to be a conscious effort to stop it. This is. Are you- <laughs> Speaking of that, you heard about the thing with oh no, I think it was fake news or not, but heard about the thing with Trump, like some dude had to some some political dude, I don't know who he is, but he he like had a coronavirus. He tested positive and he like shook Trump hand and rolled uh the Air Force One with him and all type of stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I heard, I heard about this. I don't know if that was real or fake, but I was just like, hey, niggas really out here trying to put a hit on Trump <laughs> with the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm like, how disrespectful you got to be, bro? Yeah, if bro. I'm like, bro, that's hella disrespectful. That's like, I was I was talking to somebody earlier, and like, they talking, and they spit hit my lip. And that shit gross me out. Like, <laughs> 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 that shit gross me out. I literally was like, uh. I ain't gonna lick my lips. I just I went and washed my lip with soap and water. Like, yeah, bro, you shit. probably got it wrong right now. It make you feel violated, like oh my god, that shit's gross. <laughs> I, I feel you. I know exactly what you mean, man. It's like now, a piece of they slime is just in your body now. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, like, like it's stuck. Already, this shit, this shit is disgusting. I know. That's funny. But shit, wait, that, we got any other news you want to talk about? Gaming related? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my full impressions of Ori and the Will of the Wisps next podcast episode, and uh. uh Hopefully you get a W, goddamn me, and this. So I'm like, night. All right, now you yeah, nah. I'm down. Oh shit, I'm down, bro. It's ten o'clock. You down to play some more? I can't believe it, man. Old man is up for another <laughs> game. <laughs> damn, you got you got work tomorrow. No, I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, me too. All right, cool. So we about to play some more War Zone. And Hit us up, bro. We on PlayStation. Bro, you see, so you mad out there? You know, you want, it's you want to get your gamer tech or your PSN? So you mad? That's my, you know, my PSN is Killer Three Dash O. Killer all lowercase three dash zero. I ain't, my, I ain't. I mean, I ain't give my. That's PSN. my PSN. <laughs> you can get your PSN. I ain't give. Them. I mean, hey, you can accept <laughs> it. I'm not accepting. Oh, yeah, you can't do that, can't you? <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm gonna do mine too. Do Fuck if it. people accept it, I mean, they are fans. If people listen to us, bro, you just accept it, bro. Yeah, you know what? But I had a lot of spam and shit, man. Like, a lot of fake accounts trying to add me and shit. Hating that. I do got little kids on my account because my nephew since my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your nephew, like, oh, he, he <laughs> was the front runner for your damn GCM. <laughs> <laughs> he got it for you. Oh, man. But, uh, yes, yeah, let's uh go into third. Yep. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed that episode. Make sure y'all follow us on all social media. Yeah, all social media platforms. Everything will be inside the description. Website, newest article I just wrote. Talk about Warzone. Uh, give my impressions and everything on it. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Gamer Gritty. And stay gritty, gamers. <laughs>